Hello everybody, my name is Galacti and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. I've been away for a little less than a week. It hasn't been a full week just yet and I'm sorry about that guys. I know I made a big deal about me actually coming back and producing videos and that is to my full intent. I do intend on doing that. I just have been away. I've had a lot of schoolwork and... Uh, ma mainly just that a lot of things at school that I've had to uh, do so uh, for that time being I had to go away for a few days and I was a I did have free time but I, I didn't have the energy that I have right now that I wanted to make the video so I decided it would just be best if I didn't make videos for a bit and then when I was actually ready I'd come back and make videos and I was dying to get this figure reviewed. I wanted to get this figure reviewed ever since I kind of started back up, but I didn't know when I wanted to review him, and I think the perfect time to do so is now. I have everything um, that he comes with as well, and I did want to let you guys know that I am getting at least two new figures coming in soon, that being, and kind of brand new figures. These ones are just being reviewed by some of the big, big toy reviewers like, um, I know Charmus Prime has done a few of them, uh, and that would be the new Retro Wave with uh, Marvel Legends. So I'm actually trying to get my—I'm getting my hands on Hammerhead and the Shocker. I did order the Hobgoblin, but I'm not sure if he's going to be coming in for a while. I heard that he's not the best, but I also don't have a Hobgoblin, so I, I'm gonna, you know, probably be content with him. But with that all out of the way, let's actually get on to the figure itself. Well, the box. This box, as I've said with Mafex, is kind of almost toyish. I, I I know it's a toy, I know it's a figure, but for a hundred dollars, I feel like it should be a little more collector friendly and more interesting packaging. Now, luckily, this does look kind of cool, and as you can see, there is this picture of Batman in there. He looks really cool, except this this isn't the suit that. We see him, you know, the figure comes with, you know, you can definitely tell by the emblem, uh, it has yellow in, while we know the figure just has the symbol with no yellow. And uh, another thing I was doing, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, I actually made it easier for myself to review, so I kind of moved all my stuff around and it's so much easier for me. I actually now have a place for this little setup, so it's not just on my desk taking up uh, space, so... I kind of have a whole little setup, and I'm really happy about that. Which means that the reviews should be much easier for me to make, and hopefully I'll want to make more of them as well. But as you can see, it says The Dark Knight Returns. Uh, that's the comic line he, this figure comes from. I haven't read the comic. I'm not good with reading, even if it's like Batman. I love Batman, but I'm not good at reading. But I have watched both of the movies, and they are fantastic. That's actually why I bought this figure is I watched the movies, um, realized how great they were, and then I said, well, shoot, there, there's a figure of this Batman. And I bought him. It was a hundred bucks, but I bought him, and I'm so happy with my purchase. So, it, 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 and I've mentioned he's my second favorite figure, so I better have been. And you can also see of course, the little Batman right there. On the side, Dark Knight Returns, DC, Batman, Mafex, number 106, some cool poses. You got Batman, Batman, and Batman. You can see two heads, some Japanese. I think that's Japanese. Different pose on this side. It says Dark Knight Returns on the top. Not much more at the bottom, except it does have the Mafex little stamp right there. It lets us know this is a real Mafex. But without that, with that all out of the way, let's get to it and actually look at the figure. And actually, before taking a look at the figure, I wanted to take a look at the accessories just to get those out of the way. And I do like to do that before taking a look at the figure. As you can see, we actually have five sets of interchangeable hands. And to go over those, we have the battering holding hands. And I'll talk more about this in a second. We've got the wide open hands. We've got the cape grabbing slash gliding hands. These are kind of interesting. I don't use them much, but 
it's fine that they include them. Fisted, basic fisted. And then we have these hands right here, which are basically the fisted, but a little slit in there. Sometimes you, you can put the cape in there, which is kind of cool. Or you can, you could hold a batarang. I have done that before. He comes with two interchangeable heads. Let's go over this one first. So this is ba the basic, you know, smug Batman. And I do love these head sculpts. They look really good. There's not much detail on the face. I know, like, this Batman's supposed to be much older and kind of have a beard. But I'm almost okay with that because, like, I like my Batman clean-shaven. So to just have him look like this. It's really nice. You can see the wrinkles in the cowl with that angry... And he does give off an intimidating older look. So I really do like that. And short ears. This one... Say basically same head sculpt, just with gritting teeth. I think I can grab these two side. Oh, grab these two side by side. I think this one has wider open eyes. Yeah, which is kind of cool because he is you know gritting and and mad. So I like that. And then he does come with eight of these batterings. I do have all eight. I just didn't want to get them all out because they are very little. And if they fall into my carpet, I will probably never see them again. But what you can do with all eight of those is you can actually port them into this hand. You can go each one right in there. And you can see there's three. There's three here. And then you can also get it in between the thumb and this first finger. And I'll... And, Maybe if I have time later, I'll show you actually what the full figure looks like. And they give you, you know, eight, so you can do both hands, which is kind of impressive. The only downside is he doesn't have anything else. I do kind of prefer my Batman coming with at least a grapple gun. This is from a Mafex figure. Another one, like the uh, Batman v Superman one, which I use for this one. What I do is I will take his... So same hand, but I'll use the other one. So I take this hand right here, and I kind of just fiddle it in. And it doesn't fit all the way, but I'm okay with this. And I, I like seeing like Batman with a grapple, especially this one. But now that we've looked at the accessories, let's take a closer look at the actual figure himself. And here's Batman already out of the packaging. Of course, I have shown off this figure in my... Uh, top 10 figure list, as I've mentioned earlier, he is the number two. So he's my second favorite figure in my collection. And there are a lot of reasons why, and I am, I'm very excited to go over that with you. Of course, we already talked about the head. It does look really good on this figure. Uh, the cape, I actually really like this cape for being like small and it doesn't get everywhere. The one thing I will say, though, is when you pose it, the figure kind of has it to where it's up here. So it's more fun to pose it when it's in front of the hands, which I like. I like when Batman looks like this. So, but I did want to, the reason I had it out is because I wanted to show you the whole body. But it is cool to get him like that. And we'll see some of that later. Getting a closer look at the figure though, you see the emblem, which is painted on really well. And I like the, See if I click. No, don't want to do that. There we go. That looks better. The emblem. And there's actually a little outline, if you can see. A little sculpted outline. And the gray has a nice black wash over it. So it's not just gray. There's the black wash, and there's a lot of detail. As you can see, there's all these little things sculpted. Even on the back, which is amazing. There's actually even muscle definition, which is really cool. And you can tell this is much more of a thicker Batman, more built, um, just like the style of the comic. There's a little paint chip right here, but I'm, I'm going to try to fix that. I complete, I keep forgetting to fix it. Like I, I do have the means to. The belt looks really good with another like black wash over it. Same with the legs. Boots look really nice. He's got his little legalese on the bottom. 
with the little points here. These aren't that spiky, but I'd be careful not to like move them because they're not like really bendable. So like if you bend it, you may break it. Be careful about that. He does. He looks really good. You can tell he's also not. This is an older Batman, so you can't really see a six pack. He's more just big, which is cool. But although he's pretty big, that does not hinder his articulation. So his head does move upward about that far. That's pretty good for a Batman. It does not look down too much, but you know, you can get it to look down far enough. It turns side to side. This part, this top part will hinder that. And it has a bit of a uh, pivot right there. The shoulders move outward that much. 360, there is a butterfly joint, so you can get his right there, just like that. There is a little crunching. But it's not bad. Swivel right here. Double jointed elbows. And then wrist turn side to side. And they hinge whatever way you have that ball facing. So you could have it like... Oh, popped it out. You could have it like that. Or you could have it like that. Wherever you want. This is where the figure surprised me. I thought he'd have really poor like ab crunch. But with all of that, he moves this far forward. Which I believe is actually better than the Spider-Man. And then... With all of that, he moves this far back. Make sure everything is being moved. Yep, that far back. There's actually, you know, if we do this, there's some swivel. Just like that. Drop down knees right here, which means he can go that far out. There's also a little um, ankle rocker right here. Kick. Kicks upward that much. Um... Not that far back. It's not really that bad though. Double jointed. That goes past 90, a bit past 90. There is a swivel on the boot right here. A little swivel, it's not that noticeable. This boot moves that far down, as far up. There is pivot, and then there also is toe joint. All right. And here's Batman standing kind of in a neutral pose. Again, like I said, the cape does look a lot better when it's like that. And I forgot to mention there is a bendy wire just there, though. Nowhere else in the cape, so it's a little, eh, it's okay. And we'll get him standing next to my, I believe this is my multiverse flash um, from the show. And they, they actually look pretty good together. Um, Batman, it makes sense he's much bigger, but the height-wise, you know, Flash is a tad taller, which could make sense. Older Batman. And this could be seen as an older Flash, and I think even the color of, like, the painting and the amount of, um, wash in this figure, they actually do look good together, and I've never actually tried that out. And the only reason I put them next to each other was because they're two DC figures. I don't have many DC. You're about to see like all the ones I have except for a custom Joker. I'm not going to show him because he's not really that good looking just yet. Here's him next to my, I believe this is the same, uh, Multiverse Aquaman. I might be wrong on that though. He looks pretty good next to them. Um, I mean, he looks a little more lifelike though, but you know, he's the only Aquaman I have. But this one I did want to show off, and I, th I did talk about this figure in my top 10. He was not on my top 10, but he was an honorable mention. And I did mention him earlier on in this video. It is actually my uh, Donna Justice Mayfex Batman. Oh. And you can, you can clearly see where the inspiration for this suit came was from. The Dark Knight Returns. So this suit was because of that one. So you can see that they both have the big bat emblem, you know. Um, and even if you look at, you know, yeah. This, uh, th basically, they took inspiration from this suit. I'll put it like, I'll, I'll make it quick. I won't try to go into detail on why and all that stuff. But yeah, this was a kind of copy of that suit, which I think did look really good. I, I didn't wasn't a big fan of Batfleck. Uh, I didn't like that he killed and I didn't I didn't like Ben Affleck too much. But I think the suit was good. I liked the suit and I like the fit that's the thing. I like this figure. 
because of the suit. And I, I may do a review on him one day. I'm kind of holding off on it for a while though. Probably won't be for a bit because I don't have everything he comes with either. So you, I'd have to kind of be a little, you know, just matter of fact. I don't have all that stuff with that he comes with. But yeah, so that is the Batman figure. I did want to talk. I, I, I kind of was saving this all till the end. I was thinking of just doing it while I was reviewing the figure, but then I said, you know, some people don't want to hear that spiel. So I'm going to do it now. So if you want to click off this video and go enjoy something else, uh, feel free to do so. But if you'd like to stay for a little talk, a little chat with me, um, I would appreciate it. And I think you might get something out of it. I don't know. Um... But if you're leaving right now, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll catch you you guys later. But for those who are staying and want to listen for a minute, um, I did want to talk about the reason I left YouTube for a bit. Um, I did say I wanted to mention it, uh, make light mention of it. Um, and the reason... In reality is because I started I started having like issues with my figures um, I started seeing them like I was still I was still in love with them but I think I saw that as a problem to me um, it's not the coolest thing to be a senior in high school and have love action figures and all that and people thought you were weird and you know it wasn't the greatest feeling and I had issues before then, so I am a I, I am a senior, and I always had problems with that with people. Even my friends, you know, they're not they're better at it now, but I always feel like somebody's judging me, or I, I felt that way, and I still do. I feel like people may judge. Um, so over time, I kind of let that judgment get to me, and I stopped making YouTube videos, and I kind of I got really upset and you know down in the dumps and all that uh, sort of stuff. And I decided to stop and and whatnot. But then senior year rolled around this year. And I think I may have posted a video, maybe a, a video or two during this year before these videos. I'm not so certain on that. I would, I'd have to go check my timeline. But eventually I just kind of came to the, the realization that I love what I do and I love these I love having figures and I enjoy doing this I enjoy talking about them and I decided that I'm not going to let anybody put a stop to that I don't care what they think um, I always had problems with women I think that's especially where it came from it came from clear uh, I always thought that maybe I needed to stop this figure collecting and stuff to get a girlfriend and I still don't have one but I thought that maybe maybe if I stopped owning figures you know I'd have a better chance but then I said to myself you know I want someone who cares for me for who I am and loves me for me so I, I kind of made the decision to stop caring about what other people think and start doing what I enjoy and what I enjoy is is these figures I enjoy being able to pose my action figures and do stuff with them because it's fun you know and I'm not going to let anybody take that away from me that's what I was doing I was letting pe people ruin my uh, view on something that I loved because I let them the words that they said get to me and I let that stuff get to me and I decided that um, from now on I'm going to just love my figures and you know if someone comes into my life and accepts accepts me for who I am then that's that's what's more important I'm not going to reinvent myself you know for my friends or for to try to get someone to love me I'm not going to get that I'm not going to do that you know I have friends that may even laugh at these videos who may just kind of find these figure reviews as a joke or something and um, to that I say, you can laugh all you want. I enjoy this. This is what makes me happy. 
And if you want to laugh at something that makes me happy, then shame on you. That's all I'm going to say about that. So for those of you who stayed until the end, thank you very much for hearing me rant. Uh, I think it was about three minutes, maybe a little more. Thank you for that. Thank you for staying. Um, let me know what you think. Be honest. Uh, tell me if you want to see more, you know. Um, I will try to post as much as possible. I, I want to. I want to post. I really do. So let me know. let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this figure. I mean, it's my second favorite figure. I, I absolutely adore this figure. I have it on my desk with me. I mess around with him all the time. He's so articulated, you wouldn't think so. Oh, and something I forgot to mention, he does come with a Mafex stand. I just have it with another figure right now, and I don't, didn't want to, you know, ruin the display. So uh, if you want to see what a Mafex stand looks like, look at the Spider-Man video. Go watch that if you haven't anyway. Um, the clamp is bigger, though. So the clamp to hold him is a bigger Mafex clamp, but that might be self-explanatory. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. Tell me what other figures you want to review. I had two lists made, and the reason I made those lists, I know my friends were kind of joshing me about it, like, oh, you know... Are you going to make another list video? The reason I made those was so you could, like, get some ideas of what figures you might want to see me do. Or, like, I, I, I'm asking you to look at those lists and say, I want to see you review this figure. Even on my top ten worst list, I'd love to do some of those figures and just kind of explain in more detail why I don't like them. So, for that, look at those videos, see which figures you think you want to see, and tell me. Or if you think I have a character... Like you uh, say, a ca I want to see a Captain America review of a Captain America. I'll get one of my Captain Americas. If you say you want to see uh, an Iron Man, I'll find one of my Iron Man. You know, give me a character, give me something, and I will deliver. Unless I don't have them, and I don't want to buy them. In which case, sucks to suck. With that out of the way, guys, I hope you enjoy your day. And I will see you next time. Oh, and if you want to see the full Spider-Man suit, I did just get one, uh, let me know. And I will show you the full suit. It's not on me right now. I just want the helmet, or the, not the helmet, but the mask. Just because. Um, I wasn't wearing this the whole time. But I think it looks good. And the full, the suit looks better, too. Um, the full body suit. Let me know if you want me to review that. I might actually try reviewing that. And let me know if you want me to review any of my one-to-one -one scale collectibles. Those are pretty cool, and I'd um, like to take interest in actually showing off those. So, let me know. Alright, ciao for now.